whole trap. He always talk about two letters, cross tracks. He say he riding on Make it rain blue hunnids, new weather. I can't stand no nigga who talk that shit like he gon' shoot better. If you knew better, you'll do better. Broke my Rolex, when got a new bezel. Matter of fact, I did it two times. Get me a discount like I had a coupon. We straight forever, two lines, drinking no yellow and purple, two kinds. Ice game cold, free on smoking. I'm in LA like LeBron. Pick a nigga off like Dion, straight from the bottom of the streets where I be gone. Bring this shit back like a rerun. Try to be cool, bitch, I try for a reason. These niggas sweet, Capri Suns. He pushing P for peons. Que onda mi raza, Jose RPMs y Resho para mis sueños, Heavy Steel and Hot Rods. Today we're going to be on the Heavy Steel side of things talking about steel erection, iron work, and certified welding, how to land jobs. Whether you're a new startup getting your rig ready, you're already a little contractor, or you're a contractor looking to get into the commercial side, I'm going to spit the game on how I was able to get from A and B to where I am now. We started LLC. We had to start an LLC to break our, our assets away from our personal side to the business side, the business entity side. When I got here, what I did was me and my wife, we printed out flyers. So it was just um, different color pieces of paper, you know, pink, yellow, green, blue. And we had just a format of what we offer, who we are, and how to find us. You know, I made those flyers, made some nice brochures, made them more made them more professional than the flyers. Flyers were more for the residential side to make sure people, individuals could find us. And the brochures were more for the commercial side, making sure businesses could find us. Um, so what I did is I looked for Rigid, I looked for Whirlwind, I looked for Mueller. I looked for um, Rodco, um, anybody that Royal Metal Buildings, anybody that offers metal building fabrication buildings, pre engineer metal buildings. I looked for them when I bought them coffee, donuts, um, what are they called, the croissant sandwiches, uh, uh, tacos, and all that good stuff. Lunch and breakfast, and I went to introduce myself, our entity, the company, and let them know who we were, how to find us, and what we do. And then I looked for all the material suppliers, so like Victoria Steel, Galvament Steel, Rodco, Maxim Steel. Saw them and did the whole elevator talk the whole little pitch with them as well let them know who we are what we do how to find us and that we were here trying to make a name for ourselves so in doing that we were getting people calling us back while i was doing this little marketing campaign and keep pushing our name keep pushing the brand but people were calling us back to get free estimates and we were doing small little jobs that at first i was pushing just a harbor freight little welder pack that you would plug into 220 so i had a generator and i had a welder we we're just doing little carports anything that we could get our hands on then I got a contract with City McAllen, Texas, doing some stainless steel welding. Eventually, I moved up to getting the Lincoln Bulldog welder, which is a gas welder, welds up to one eighth inch rods. And we just kept moving, getting a little bit bigger jobs. We got a, a metal building and a barn dominium, and then I was able to purchase my dually. I was uh, financing that dually, my 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 seven three diesel i was financing that and i was able to purchase my sae 400 diesel welder and everything that i purchased has kept moving us up and up and up and i just kept building notoriety and keep building um experience and people behind us eventually we also started getting shirts you know we got shirts for our crew members we got shirts for me we made some caps we made magnets for the trucks and then really letting the work speak for themselves if somebody calls us treat every customer the same don't put your eggs in one basket you know you might think this job's gonna land and you don't want to go see these go see all of them give them all the time of day that you can try to build a procedure and a plan that's gonna allow you to have specific time to go meet with the clients and still have time to go actually perform the work and actually get the money you know and then be right with your budgets make sure you have a budget and how much you're spending and how much you're supposed to make well, we did start a uh, Facebook we started offer up we started um, a let go at that time they had it open we had a craigslist just offering all of our work too because i wanted to make sure that i was talking to people out there in the real world and then if they were also getting online looking for somebody they could look for us um for about a year we paid for angie's list as well to be a, a contractor on angie's list so they were able to contact us as well through their different ways of marketing and I eventually i started this youtube channel so and actually believe it or not i've gotten more than more than a couple clients through this youtube channel so um little by little we started doing that and just really establishing a brand when i started this i wanted to have a separate entity from myself you know so we started the company with a name that was going to be taken very seriously that we thought 30 40 years down the road rather than just thinking right now we wanted to make sure that hopefully we would land all these projects like we had dreamed about and that we had in our head and that eventually we would seal the deal and it would all come to fruition so like now we have these things you know which are like i wear them every day i have a um a chain with the company name on it things like that um we still have caps we have magnets and all that but i've kind of done away with that because i made myself a little bit of a name already and we work with certain people in the industry here locally that have trust in us and i have like i said we built that notoriety with them that confidence that they we are the preferred contractor so i kind of stripped away the magnets off the truck took away the names off of the 
off of certain websites and things like that. I don't do the Angie's list anymore. I don't do the Craigslist or the offer up or the let go. I don't really even have the Facebook page anymore. Really, it's just an Instagram and the YouTube. So if this helps you guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below or go ahead and look me up on Instagram at JoseRPMs956. You can find me there as well if you have any questions. Like I said, um, anybody can do this. I ain't special, man. A lot of people put me in position to do this. Um, I'll, um, Adam Boyle, Carl Young, Jason Remington, Anthony Carillo, uh, John and Jerry from Metal Guard. Um, let me see. Uh, um, uh, David Caceres. Uh, let me see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Man, so so many more, man. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anybody, but all these guys that that own Owls, that own their own companies, and um, that really were going hard and showed me that you know what, if I'm making a dollar for them, that I can make a dollar for myself, and we can advance in life, and we cannot be afraid to succeed. You know, um, we're gonna take an L every day, but we don't lose. We learn. Don't be afraid to fuck up in life. That's the only way we're gonna get better. No, I fire. We can always keep growing. So if you want something, just believe that you can achieve it, and then fucking work hard to go get it, man. To chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Do you know what shut the fuck up means?